Okay, so you might um, recognise where I am right now. Turn it around. I'm back in the caravan. Not to sleep, though. Well, not at the moment, anyway. Um, what I've done is utilised the caravan um, for all my fabrics because I've been given so many fabrics and I've collected so many fabrics over the year. They were in poles and poles of bags and trunks and everything over in the barn. And every time I tried to go and look for what I wanted, it was like searching for a needle in a haystack. So I, I, what I've done is I've collected all the fabrics out of the barn, put them in here and put them into um, stacks of sort of sizes, what I could to use them for, colours-ish, that type of thing. Um, so let's give you a quick look. So um, here I've got a lot of golds, um, some really, really lovely, this heavy fabrics, beautiful fabrics. Um, a lot of this is what Sheila gave me from up the road, Sheila and Ian. Um, so florals, we've got just large planes that I can use for backing, um, lots of large plane over there as well stripes and um yeah stripes um that's the fabric i had left from the sofa that i did upstairs this is actually a tablecloth and some napkins and i'm not sure i want to cut it up i'm it's sort of back up if i need something like that and it goes with something really well but i don't really want to cut it up these are more smaller pieces um lots of different colors and types of fabric in there all of this pile is what i could use for cushions so just as accents um these are old duvet sets um again could be used for lining material or something um these are just some some fabric that i actually found when we got here that you never know when it might come in handy and then on the bed is loads of different curtains that I've either accumulated over the years or people have given me. Um, so the idea today is to see if I've got something in here that we can use for the um, uh, fabrics in apartment one. Now we've got the um, window seat that Ted's made. We've then obviously got the arch window. We have then need fabric to go on the curtaining under the kitchenette area. And then I need curtains for the drapes on the bed because we're going to have a big canopy with drapes coming down. Now, I have actually seen curtains that I'd really love for that, um, the material. But they're 30 quid um, for, I think it's two metres one metre by two metres, so it's quite expensive. Um, but um, we are going to pop to a fabric shop in Limoges later on today, so I'm going to see if I can get the similar fabric before they had a really good sale section, so see if we can find something in there. However, for the rest of it, I want to try and find something in here that I can use. Um, so I've got a couple of things in mind. Um there's some cushions there already, but these are curtains. And um, and as you can see, they've got blues in it, greens, beiges, the white. Um, so, yeah, I personally think this would look really good in the apartment. However, I don't have enough of it for everything. So what I'm thinking is, if out of this I made the seating area and pelmet for both for the seating area and the arched window then I could get some fabric this sort of colour um, and texture to, to hang as curtains because I think that will be cheaper so if I use the really good stuff for the accent um, and for the seating area and then and pelmets and then use something else for the actual curtains that's my plan at the moment. So what I need to do is go and see if I've got enough of it. There's, I think there's only two curtains, but they're quite long. However, see, I'd love to use something like this, but it does, doesn't really go, but it's beautiful fabric, absolutely gorgeous. But this will certainly be used in some of the other apartments. Um, this, look at this. Gorgeous. So this was the other one. Um, 
there's a fair amount of that. So if all else fails, I could use this. So I think I'm going to take this. I've got loads of this gold stuff as well. Um, that's really nice, but that wouldn't go. So, yeah, I'm going to take that, take this one, and um, and then we'll see. We'll, we'll make a decision when we get inside. Okay. Okay, we're up in apartment two, and um, I'm using this as my sewing room at the moment. It's the only place that's clean and tidy and uh, got a bit of space. So... For the window box, uh, window seat, <coughs> I made a cardboard cutout of the window seat. We then, um, foam in France is really expensive. To be honest with you, I've never really bought foam before on a, on a really thick scale. So um, I don't know if it's expensive back in the UK or whether it's just in France. But it is very expensive. Luckily... Um, quite a long time ago, when Dave and Karen moved into their house, there was a set of bunk beds, wooden bunk beds, that had a couple of uh, mattresses on them. Fire retardant foam in them, which is absolutely fantastic. They asked us at the time, did we want the uh, bunk beds? So we said yes, because there's, we don't want to throw anything away. You never know when you might need something. And obviously, we, we're not going to have bunk beds in the apartment rooms, but you know, volunteer rooms, if we get any family rooms for when air family comes over in any of the other areas later on down the line, we might want some bug beds. So, or we could just use the wood and as I am using the mattresses. So I've taken the mattress covers off um, and that's the foam, it's memory foam. So I've cut out my seat from the memory foam and uh, I forgot to bring the fabric up, so I'm going to have to go and get the fabric. But um, that's my seat, and I'm now going to do the, uh, the cover for the, for the seating area. Let's go and check out the fabric and see what one we decide to use. Okay, so we've got the fabric. Now... I really want to use this one that's got the blue in it. Um, I think this will just look really lovely. So, I think we've got enough. Okay, so I'm going to take it apart and get sewing. Oh my God. What I just found on the floor. This is so weird. It's a key. Literally, in this house, everywhere we go, we keep finding keys. Now, I don't know if you remember, very in the very early days, we found a whole bag of these keys, a big bag. Um, there's probably about, I don't know, 50, 60 keys in that bag. But literally, every windowsill, and you pick one up and we go and put it in the bag. And then you come across another one on the same windowsill and you swear it wasn't there before. But we just keep finding keys everywhere. And I love keys. I just, I don't know what it is, my fascination with keys. It's, you know, it's like, what door? What door? What trunk? Yeah, love keys. Okay. I've got to try and think of an art project to do with all the keys. So if anyone's got any good ideas, what I can make out of all the keys. Okay, so I've made the top cover of the um, window seat 
And I have to say, you know, I've never made a window seat before. Um, but it's come out pretty good, actually. I'm really surprised. I shouldn't say this because something will go horribly wrong now. But um, it seems to have been quite easy. All I did was cut out the, um, the top part and left, so cut the shape out, left a two inch seam allowance and then just cut a strip of fabric, a long strip of fabric that will go all around the sides and sew that together. So I've got my top, I've got my sides. Now I need to do the underside. So I'm not going to use the good fabric because it's not going to be seen. And um, and I want to keep as much of the good fabric as I can to do pale mitts and uh, have it as an ex accent, pillows, etc. So the underside I'm going to do again from the curtain lining material. So I'm reusing the lining material and I'm going to do the back. Now I realised that I didn't have a zip long enough for this, because I was going to do a zip in it. So I need to try and work out how to do um, how to do it like a slip cover, so that I can still take it off and uh, and wash it, but um, but do the the under lining as a slip cover. Not sure how I'm going to do that yet, so I need to have a little think on that. Um, yeah, so I shall give it a go um, and see what I can come up with. I don't think it'll be that difficult, really. But I'm really pleased with the way the top part's come. Yeah, quite easy, really. Go away, make your own. Right, let's get on with the slip bit. we've finished now we've got the um, back and side cushions that I've done I've done them on angles because obviously the seats on angles um, which I have to say was a bit of a pain but um, but I got them in the end and um, and the seat cover really pleased with it actually the materials lovely I, I got to do the slip cover and I put some velcro I don't know if you can see this but I put some velcro so that um, it's nice and tight covering but could be taken off to wash on the cushions, I did zips, so I was able to insert zips on all of the cushions. Done so well, I can't even find them. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. <laughs> um, so I've done my zips. So let's go and put them in and see what they look like. Okay, so um, this morning, I think it's pelmet making. So what do you actually want? Okay, so I want a pelmet. I don't want the curtains to encroach on the window. Okay. So the main aim is, is that the curtains hang either side, but they've 
I want them to hang down here, stop here. Right. So they come down either side, but they don't encroach on the window. So the pelvis, I want to come just under here. Right. Yeah. So it follows the curve, so it accentuates the arch in the okay. window. So I don't want to cover that up. So I want the pelvis to curve. Yeah. And stop about there. Right. The curtains will be behind it. They're hanging down right from the top, and then when they close, obviously. It'll be careful what you're doing there. Why? Because you might uh, a light aircraft might think it's landing with you doing your semaphore, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or or, or so there's half a dozen women out the front there think it's a a, a, a key fit class. <laughs> Yeah, pound it straight across at the top, down, there, there. <laughs> now you're doing YMCA. Now you're taking the, now you're taking the Mickey out of me, now, aren't you? Now you're doing YMCA. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Right, so I'm going to do that one again. Yeah, 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 I'm going to do the wherewithal, but we can make we can find something that'll work. Yeah, that yeah, no it's going to be covered, so it doesn't matter yeah. if you have to jigsaw bits together. No, that's fine. You know, like we'll 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 make a framework. It might take the rest of the and day. And then that one I just want square. This one over here. Yeah. So this one I want to come up to here and drop just under here and just be square. Okay. So you won't need to make a side on this. You could do it. Like yeah. That if you want. This curtain's only going to have one curtain coming down this side. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did wonder about if we're making a seat and people are going to sit in the curtains. Yeah, no, it's just going to have one curtain down this side. It's going to have a blind, so you don't necessarily have to close curtains. We're only closed curtains at night. It's only, yeah, it's really here, for dressing. Yeah, yeah, if you're sitting here and you want to yeah, put a blind, yeah. it's going to have a blind in it. Mm. Can you remind me? I need to paint these bits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny because you did it the other way around on those ones. Yeah, yeah. Snagging this. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you, baby. So this morning I've just put a piece of cardboard, just taped a piece of cardboard here to get me um, the shape of this. Um, this is obviously a pro forma for the, for the helmet. And this is the largest piece of cardboard I had at the moment, so that's why it's there. But so what we're gonna do is gonna make the pelmet this size, it's gonna be this high, it's just gonna drop down slightly on here, but it's gonna be extended out to 140 centimetres. So that'll be nine centimetres either side, because this is 122 at the moment. Um, and that will then make the the entire pelmet. I don't have, I don't think. I might have a front piece that's 140. <coughs> Any more? Sorry, I have to wait for you know, half a dozen. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's, but size wise, from there to there. Yeah, that's in, perfect. You're perfect for that, so we just need to make it a little bit longer. And so that's, yeah, that gives me an indication. Uh, there's the centre line, so I can know that I can create a bit, a box, with that on the front. Perfect. Parfait. Monsieur Rogers. So Ted has made both the pelmets for apartment one. I'm going to start covering them now. Now I've got I'm hoping enough of the fabric that Sheila gave me to be able to do both pelmets with. But let's see. Now the idea is normally with the upstairs apartment ones I did pad them out. I'm not sure I really need to. So I'm going to have a look, see what they look like without padding out and then decide if I need to pad them out with um, spongy stuff. Now that's good news because that means I've definitely got enough material so I'm really pleased with that. Okay.
Think I need to give it an iron first. Let's go. So what I'm doing first of all is actually double-sided tape on where I want to stick the fabric and then I'll tack it into place once I know that I've got everything where I want it to be basically. It just saves that if you do end up changing your mind or you notice you've done something wrong trying to get the tacks out is a real pain up your backside. So this way you can check that you've got all the right measurements, everything's there where you want it to be, it looks good before you start tacking with um, with, sta with the staple gun. You don't, to be honest with you, you if you get this, um, this double sided tape, which is like carpet double sided tape, it is so strong, you don't actually really need to tack it with um, a staple gun if you haven't got one. Um, I just go over and tack it with a staple gun in some areas just to make sure that it's not gonna come apart at all. And, um, you know, I want it to, to be quite long lasting, so. And things like your corners here are always quite good to uh, to make sure you tack. Okay, now time for tacking. Voila, we have one pound weight. That's taken me about 30 minutes. I think, I haven't looked at the clock, but I think about 30, 40 minutes. Uh, really quick and easy. I didn't do any padding on it in the end because this material's really thick and it, it just doesn't need it. It doesn't need any padding. So, um, and to be honest with you, the wadding that I've got, I can use for other stuff. So if I don't need it, I'm not going to use it. Um, but yeah, please, that's, let's go and put it up on the wall and see what it looks like.
So with just the curtains to go in, let's have a quick reminder of what these windows looked like before. A bit of a transformation, wouldn't you say? There's still the breakfast bar to do and the armrests, but it's getting there now. So that was week 10.2, but it wasn't all of week 10.2. You look very lovely. Oh, thank you, darling. Mm. Thank you, baby. Maybe your birthday agrees with you. Um, we have had a really hard week. Oh, we have no. had 14 hour uh, days at least, and it's been a long slog. So what you saw just now is literally only a little bit of what we've been doing this week. So we thought, because we've been doing so much, we'll give you double bubble. Um, and um, so you'll get another video uploaded on Wednesday. You lucky, lucky you people. You are lucky, lucky people. Um, and, um, and yeah, you'll get to see next week the final apartment one being finished. Ooh. Us moving in, my birthday party <gasps> celebration, um, and, um, and lots of fun special. going on. A little bit more something special. Um, so yeah, tune Stay in tuned. during the week and, um, and we'll see you really soon. Thank you all so much for supporting us. Don't like forget, and subscribe. like and subscribe, go over to the Patreon page if you fancy seeing more of us and some behind the scenes and taking part in our Zoom chats, looking on our Facebook Patreon only page for our daily or... Well, we don't do daily, do we? But um, whenever no, we, whenever we lot, fancy no, it, you do, yeah, bits live and pieces, uploads. Yeah, bits and pieces. Um, yeah, check us out. Anyway, yeah. love to all. Take, Take care, care, everyone. We'll see you on Wednesday. See you Bye. Later. Bye. We would like to say a huge thank you to all of our supporters, from our patrons to our GoFundMe donors, the people that are buying us a coffee on Go Buy Me a Coffee, and you, our subscribers, each week watching the adverts for us to give us a little bit of income each month. Even if it just adds up to a bag of sand, it all helps. Take care, everyone. See you all next week. Bye-bye.
much more Always really knew what I was looking for Someone to share my dreams Someone to follow 